friends, thanks for joining me today. In previous videos I've showed you how to put together some of these little milk boxes um, which have been really really fun to make and to put together and um, I also then have found a little treat uh, milk box holder that I'm going to show you how to make, make today so that your little mini milk box treat holders can fit right inside like this. So I'm going to show you how to make that today, so let's get started. This is a piece of basic black cardstock, and this one measures 5 and 3 quarters by 5 and 3 quarters, and I scored it at 1 and a quarter all the way around. I've put, um, I took my paper snip scissors and I cut up to each of the score lines on the four sides and then fold it on those score lines. I've attached sticky strip in each of the corners of the box and then all you do is you take off the sticky strip back and attach it then to make a corner. You're going to do that on each of the four sides. So when you're assembling and putting together these kinds of boxes that are going to be holding a little bit sturdier items, like uh, maybe candy that's a little bit heavier, you definitely want to use sticky strip. Okay, so now I have the bottom of my box. These are going to be the handles then for the little milk box holder. And um, these measure six by three and a quarter. And then it's scored at one and a half on both of these, so you need two pieces. Now I've put double sided sticky tape here on the bottom two flaps. And before I do anything else, I'm going to take my large oval punch and I'm going to just uh, center it between the two sides here. And I'm going to punch. I'm going to go ahead and line up the other handle so that they have the same punch. Okay, and I am going to need to do that one more time. Now the reason why I did this um, with separate pieces is because I've broken my punches before. So the cardstock, you really don't, should only do one layer of cardstock at a time. Okay, so next I'm going to put on the panel pieces here. Okay, so I'm going to need to punch out one more punch on each of the handles now that I've added the designer series paper. But again, it's pretty easy. You just go through the pattern you already made. Because I've put my double-sided tape on the bottom here, all I need to do is to take it off and then back to my card, my box base. This is the five and three-quarter piece. I'm going to just push it onto the side like this and then adhere it to the bottom. I am going to put a little bit of snail adhesive here so that the two handles will stay together once I have, have them in my little milk box holder. And then same thing, I'm going to just slide it in, but this time because of that snail I'm going to push those pieces together and just secure everything down. Okay, for the final piece then, um, I'm going to put some panel pieces on the outside of my box here. And then I'm going to just attach those all the way around on all sides. So back to my original then, I just did a, made a little tag with a Halloween stamp set that I had. This one is Halloween Bash. And I just punched it out with the same oval punch, the large oval punch. And then I used the decorative label punch for this here. Then I just had some pumpkin pie chevron ribbon. And I had a piece of, a couple other pieces of ribbon here that I tied it off with through the handle. So I hope that you enjoy this project. I loved making them and it's so fun to not only get, but to um, give this great little project. To order your supplies from me, you can click right below this YouTube video to go straight to my online store. 
Hope you have a great time making this project of your own and giving it away. Thanks for joining me and have a great day. Bye-bye.